happy Tuesday morning. We're kicking things off so far this morning, rather warm and humid. Of course, it is the middle of summer here as we're heading toward your know, closer to back to school tomorrow. It's going to be rather you know, warm and humid mornings for the kids at the bus stops overall and into the afternoon as well. We're still looking at above average temperatures into the forecast over the next seven days as, as a whole. But right now at the door, we've got a beautiful sunrise beginning to show up a little bit on the horizon. A few clouds out there, 83 degrees, but with that high humidity, man, it is feeling like a 93 Three degrees right now and so it's rather warm start to the day and we're only going to get warmer unfortunately of course as you go into the afternoon much like yesterday upper 90s off to the north where we hit 99 degrees in Macomb yesterday breaking the record of 98 degrees we hit 101 degrees yesterday in Baton Rouge just one degree shy of the record so record is still possibly to be tied or broken today as well about 101 here in Baton Rouge but with the higher humidity still locked in place or heat index values roughly ranging from maybe 110 to 115 maybe a few areas as, as a little bit higher than that as well. So that's why we do have another excessive heat warning in effect for our entire viewing area for today from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So if you're going to be outside today, especially during those hours, the peak heating uh, time of the day, make sure you do take your proper precautions, take plenty of breaks, and we always harp on it. We we'll make sure you do, of course, stay hydrated as well to avoid any heat stress to your body as well. But tonight, not much relief over overnight lows into the lower 80s, mid to upper 70s to the north, and still looking at warm and humid conditions as we have high pressure just to the north and the, in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Of course, that's keeping our winds coming from the south and southwest, and that's helping keep warm and moist air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico to keep us on that humid side. Right now, this morning off to the north, Arkansas getting a good soaking of some showers and some storms along this frontal boundary. Those showers and storms will begin to continue southeastward toward Mississippi and into Alabama. Now, what we're looking at for this is some of the cloud cover as well. You see some of those high clouds kind of extending down south of Jackson toward our of Florida parishes as well. So if those can make it a little more southward, they may affect our high temperatures a little bit today with a little more cloud cover, but overall not looking at much rainfall across the area today. Only about 20% chance here in Baton Rouge, but you look off to the north, that's where that better chance of rain is going to be. So maybe our, our southwest Mississippi counties having a slightly better chance for a few more showers, maybe a storm, but overall still looking at limited coverage as well. You see on the future track coming to the afternoon hours, maybe a few isolated showers, maybe a storm or two overall across the region, but still looking at rather limited coverage, but some of us may get a quick shower, maybe a quick downpour as well to help bring some slight relief to these high temperatures. But tomorrow, similar story overall, seeing a chance for a few isolated showers, maybe a storm or two, but still most dry for our Wednesday as well. So we're keeping low wind rain chances as you go throughout the next couple days. The heat is still that main concern. Excessive heat wash in place for tomorrow. Heat index value is possibly up to about 115 as well. So we'll likely see these heat alerts continue to the forecast through this week with heat index values about 110 or greater as we go throughout the next seven days. So your seven day forecast is looking pretty warm and hot overall. Still no relief from that heat. Highs going to be near 100 degrees even for your day tomorrow. Back to school. Low in rain chances throughout this week, about 10% chance. But some signs are pointing toward as you head toward next week. Might see a little bit of an uptick in rain chances. But overall still looking at high temperatures near that 100 degree mark as well.